Um, although I'm a professional astrologer, I've got an evil twin brother. And he's called the Caustic Astrologer. One or two of you may know of him. And he comes out occasionally, normally after about six beers. Right? So what you're going to get now is just the... There's no under 18s here, is there? Right. You're going to get the triple X-rated version of how to wind up every sign of the zodiac in two short sentences. Okay? So if you're feeling sensitive, delicate, or touchy, leave now. This is going to hurt. So let's start with the single most boring sign of the zodiac. Any Taurians here? No? Taurus, you're really boring. You know you are. And it's not your fault, you're just stubborn. Determined, thorough, perseverant, stubborn. And if you really want to wind up a Taurus, you just go up to him and say, look, can I borrow all your money? Or can I eat all your food? Or can I have all your possessions? And watch them stew. Taurians and possessions, Taurians and money. I can't deal with it. So take all their money away and then forget to give it back and watch them really cringe. Taurians, they're not exactly possessive, but they like to think they own you. And then you get to whatever, the other fixed signs, Leos. I mean, everyone knows what their Leo friends, right? Big hair, flamboyant, arrogant, conceited. You can be rude to a Leo, yes, you can. But if you really want to upset a Leo, you just tell them the truth. They've got really ugly children, <laughs> right? Now, you, you, you tell a Leo that they've got ugly children and then run. Because, but it is true, because they dote on their children, but they're actually... No. If you're going to upset a Scorpio, then do it on the phone. Because they've got those eyes that can glare right through you, and there's like lasers that burn through solid steel. So if you're going to upset a Scorpio, the easiest way to do it is to tell them the absolute truth. That they're crap in bed, they've got the sex appeal of a slug, and they like to think they're the sexiest sign of a Zodiac, but they're not. They're, they're absolutely frigid, all of them. Right? And, and then run very fast... <laughs> And don't stop. Uh, Aquarians are notoriously hard to wind up because, well, they're so impersonal, objective, detached, and so uncaring about anything that it seems like nothing can get through. But if you really want to upset an Aquarian, either tell them that they've got no friends, or else take all their crystals away. Because they all love this new agey stuff. So if you, if you want to upset an Aquarian, just remind them how alone and robotic they are, and then accuse them of coming from Sirius C and find their emotional chip and, ch emotional chip and take it away. Uh, let's go to the mutable signs. How to wind up a Gemini. Now, Geminis are good talkers, allegedly. They're supposed to be good intellectuals and got a good mentality, allegedly, right? So if you want to wind up a Gemini, simple. Corner them at parties so that they can't move about and circulate and then bore them to death with long monologues about your personal problems. And then just give them really big, intimate hugs. Because Geminis love hugs for about two seconds. But after that, it's like, let me go, let me go, I need my freedom. And if you, if you put a Gemini baby in a playpen, it will run to the edge and try and get out. Imprison them. They hate it. If you want to wind up a Virgo, easy. Smell bad, right? Because Virgos are so anal about bodily fluids and hygiene and health. Stand next to them on underground train in a hot, sweaty day and just waft underarm sweat at them. Or, or, or break into their bathroom when they're not there and move everything half an inch to the left. Right? Virgos and fussiness, it's true, it really is. They're so quasi-anal. To wind up a Sagittarius, you just um, point out the lack of realism in their philosophies. Wear longer, baggier sweaters than they do. Travel more than they do. That's a big one. Laugh more than they do. And if you really want to upset a Sagittarius, there's certain swear words you can use, such as the dreaded R word, responsibility, or even worse, the dreaded C word, commitment. Sagittarians and commitment, they doesn't work. Pisces, if you want to wind up a Pisces, it's normally quite simple. You just take their alcohol away or tell them to stop feeling sorry for themselves, that nobody really cares and all this self-pity nonsense is just pathetic and would you please grow up and stop wallowing. And then when they burst into tears, just go, oh, grow up and walk away. Cruel, but it works. Um, that leaves the cardinal signs. How to wind up a cancer. As you can tell, I'm one of those shy, gentle, delicate, insecure Cancerians who's big on mummy and lots of hugs and cuddles. 
Um, if you want to wind up a cancer, you can be rude about their mother. You can move into their kitchen and go, ugh, dirty. Uh, or, or just insult their cooking, tell them that they're uncaring and unloving. Tell them that they're really, really moody, especially first thing in the morning, because they are. They are the grumpiest, moodiest gits of the whole horoscope, and I know, because I am one. Librans, well, you make them decide everything. Like, where should we go? What should we do? What should I think, dear? And then when they can't decide, you act gross in public with Librans, because they like to think they're so sophisticated, but they're not. So play them punk rock, or Tchaikovsky, or Beethoven, where really they just want a string quartet. Wipe your nose on the sleeve in public, you know. Capricorns, how to wind up a Capricorn. Embarrass them in public. Get them up on stage to do karaoke in front of everyone. They need a week's holiday to practice going on holiday. And then um, tell them how hard they're working. You've been working really hard. You sit down, we'll do it all. And we just work hard, really hard around them while they're relaxing. They hate, they can't do it. Capricorns cannot sit down and relax when everyone else is working. Last and least, Aries. Uh, when, you, when I'm doing this in front of a crowd of drunks and it's 11 o'clock at night and you say, anyone in here an Aries? And there's always about six or seven that go, me, me, look at me, I'm an Aries. You go, right, let's move on. You're not important, you don't matter. And you remind them how insignificant they are, how childish they are and how nobody cares about what they look like or what they feel. And then you watch them get really, sh they shrivel, and then they get really, really angry very fast. Finally, how to wind up the 13th sign of a zodiac, that of the astrologer. You come to them and go, that was a really good reading. You've really got me clicked. Or oh, by the way, my time of birth was 12 hours wrong. It doesn't make any difference, does it? Or isn't Russell Grant really good? Or, 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 or do you like Russell Grant's sweaters or things like that? And then, what, and then leave without paying them. That really winds them up. Okay, caustic astrologer done for the night. Now for some serious astrology. You're in tonight.